Oh no, it looks like I've misplaced my heat break and heat sink. Whatever will I do? I'm just gonna make a new one. That's what the hell I'm gonna do. I just snapped another drill bit! And this was the last one that I had in this size. I kind of ruined the last part, so I have to make a new one and... <sighs> Man, I ruined another one of these damn things. Uh, a note to you guys, if you want a bimetal heat break, just buy one. It's not worth it. I'm losing my sanity. Hello, this is day three of trying to drill that stupid nail. Today we're gonna do it. Right, Mom? Come on, say something! <laughs> ah! Go sit! <laughs> ah! Ah! I did a bit of prep work, uh, got a new piece ready to go, and I'm already half frozen. Um, we're looking good. I think this one might actually work. So I felt a give, uh, I was a little confused because uh, we weren't deep enough to have reached the end of it, but uh, we totally blew a hole right through the wall there. So that's another piece scrapped. Uh, so I don't know what happened, but uh, the bit is kind of stuck on something. Or maybe it's jams, I don't know. I don't know how this didn't snap the bit, but uh, I think somebody was watching out for us. I think the hole's deep enough and I didn't feel it break through anywhere, so we might actually be good on this one. Uh, let's just hope we don't mess it up in brazing. Oh baby, we did it, look at that, nice, okay. Oh. Maybe that worked. I don't know. I think we did it. It's on. Uh, hammered it a little bit deeper and it's it's uh, it's on there. I think we did it. I'm gonna head back inside because uh, I'm frozen. I countersink the uh, top hole because it was slightly offset and I want the filament to be able to travel in there pretty nicely. I also took down the uh, thickness of the connecting tube here. So it's it's about 2.8 millimeters, which gives us a wall thickness of about 0.4 millimeters, which I'm happy with. And now let's give it a little bit of a test fit here. Oh, oh, oh. that is awesome. Ooh, ooh, I'm excited. I fired her up to temp. Yeah, let's see if she'll extrude. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess with that out of the way, we can get to the heatsink. So these holes are 3 8 and this rod fits in them perfectly. So my idea is to remake the bottom and top part of the die and then drill a hole through the bottom here exactly the way these are right in the center so that when I stamp a sheet right like this, I can go and punch a rod through the, the center here and punch out a center hole so that we can put the punched sheets on this rod and then I'll use a spacer and just braze it in place. That might work. We'll see. Check out this fitment. Oh, look at that. Now I'm just gonna run to the shop real quick, plug weld this on again, and then drill a hole through so that uh, we can actually fit our second 
punch in here and then heat treat and temper it. And then we should be able to punch uh, our blades for the heat sink. Okay, so the punch is totally working. This thing is awesome. The only issue I'm having is that this like impromptu clamp vice setup is just not cutting it. See what I did there? So uh, I think we're gonna go to the garage and make a screw press because I have some leftover threaded rod from the lathe build. So we'll just go to the shop and uh, throw together something so we can put even force on this thing and hopefully punch out some nice uh, aluminum uh, fins here. Ta-da! Oh, it's beautiful! This thing is so awesome. So awesome. Look at this. Bop! Oh, I noticed the camera. Okay. Okie dokie, I got a little bit carried away yesterday and uh, just cut the corners here so that this will fit into a shroud, just like so. If you're wondering about this, uh, I'm not quite finished uh, brazing the fins yet, so I'll take care of that once we're done here. But the way the shroud holds on is just threaded a little insert and then it screws on there, like so. Ta-da, Bob's your uncle. The way the heatsink holds on to the gantry is just with these screws here. And then there's a second one that goes in this hole. I think it fell, but uh, it's okay, I'll find that later. I'm gonna go finish the heatsink. I'll be back in a second. Um, if this looks like a melted heap of junk to you, uh, that might be because maybe it is. When I was trying to braise this thing, the fins didn't really want to stick together. Like the uh, the filler material really didn't wet on the aluminum like at all. And so I had to remelt it a couple times to get most of them to stick. And like this one's just completely loose. This didn't really quite work the way I wanted it to. I might I might scrap the heatsink idea for this video and uh, maybe water cool it next time. But uh, it's kind of a bummer to be honest. Let's see if we can salvage this. We might be able to uh, clean this up a bit. These things in the middle here are just kind of spacers so that the fins actually stay in their uh, proper arrangement and spacing. So you can just pull these out. I'm really not happy with this. This thing uh, was pretty nice to begin with and now it kind of blows. So I think that's that for the heatsink. We will have to revisit that some other time. Even though our heatsink was kind of a fail, our heat break turned out wonderfully, I think. Uh, I guess we'll see once we actually have it in the printer. We've got this kind of mocked up here, and if we toss some filament into this end, look at that. Ignore the, the slight crookedness here. That's, uh, I meant to do that. I absolutely meant to do that. I'm gonna go throw this into the printer, and then we'll see if it actually prints. Uh, we got her installed and up to temperature, so now we can go and uh, extrude a little bit, I think. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, that's pretty good, I guess. All right, so now, Let's go print something. This appears to have been a uh, catastrophic failure. Oh my goodness. Ooh, okay. I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the outside of this, but the inside like kind of blows. I'm gonna throw some different filament in there and maybe, maybe the filament's just wet. This video has been a colossal fail. It turns out, Making these parts is a lot harder than I initially thought, and, uh, well, I got served a big old slice of humble pie. I don't know exactly what's wrong with our, uh, our heat break, but it doesn't really want to work. It, it was having some extrusion issues, so I'm assuming there's, uh, something in here that's maybe causing a snag or something, and so it's just adding more friction than, uh, it needs to, because the extruder is kind of skipping, whatever. Ugh, man. I kind of want to revisit this at a later point, but uh, for now, I think I'll leave it here. I spent two weeks trying to figure it out, and uh, it didn't really work out, so I think I'm going to cut my losses. Call this one a day. I'll see you guys next time. Hope you take care. Bye bye